Back with another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand for you, Brandon from Sports Video Group. Happy to be joined by Neil Glazebrook. He is Senior Director of Product Management for Limelight Networks. Neil, first off, hope you're doing well. Uh, where are you coming to us from today? And I uh, hope you and everyone you love are safe and healthy right now. Yeah, doing very well. Thanks, Brandon. Um, I'm actually based in uh, just outside Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a beautiful day here, and um, good. yeah, happy to be uh, happy to be talking with you. Good, good. I mean, most of us would probably be at the time of this recording out in the desert right now in Las Vegas for the NAB show. Obviously, not happening this year, but certainly not stopping the industry from continuing to innovate. What's going on in the uh, sports video production community? Uh, so, in terms of Limelight Networks, please tell us what's new and uh, what are some of the new things that you and your uh, colleagues have been working on at Limelight. Oh, sure. Um, yeah, again, sorry we couldn't uh, meet folks in person uh, at, uh, in Vegas. was really looking forward to going this year. Um, but we've certainly been really busy, and um, we've just had a few announcements, actually, over the last few weeks. Uh, so it hasn't certainly changed anything from a program perspective here at Limelight. Um, so first up, um, we announced... Um, uh, our serverless compute offering, which is pretty exciting, actually. Um, uh, we made a, it's an early field trial. Uh, we announced it a couple of weeks ago. We already have a couple of uh, uh, customers using it in earnest and a lot of interest. Um, so serverless compute is really, uh, and, and it internally it's, uh, sorry, it's called Edge Functions. Okay. Uh, from from a, a brand perspective, Limelight Edge Functions. And it's really um, uh, a capability to enable uh, our customers uh, to customize and secure their video workflows uh, their, their, for their you know, content delivery. Mm -hmm. So think uh, things like manifest manipulation, uh, stream protection, uh, A-B testing if it's website delivery. Um, uh, we've got some use cases for customers that want to do um, forensic watermarking. Um, so we really we're providing an infrastructure solution to enable uh, our customers to bring um, you know, their, their, their own software, their own functions and run that globally on the limelight edge. Lowest latency, super high scale is absolutely perfect for live streams. So we're pretty excited about that. Nice. Um, yeah. And um, I think one of the. Um, the, the, the next thing is we, we, uh, we've also announced this week uh, live push. So that's, uh, that really augments our uh, uh, live streaming um, video offering. And that's really targeting customers that are they're doing the, um, the, the transcoding, the packaging themselves in, the, you know, in, in their video workflow. Um, but they want to push either uh, HLS, uh, manifests and media segments to us or dash um, to the edge and then we are hosting a live origin for them and uh, then of course we take care of delivery across the, the CDN um, we're giving them uh, scrub back uh, you know capability you know, DVR capability um, so for, for, for the folks that are doing uh, multi CDN for folks that are hosting uh, you know, their workflows in the public cloud and worried about egress costs uh, escalating out of control. This is a, you know, a really fantastic alternative. Um, and um, it's also a, a really good foundation for the upcoming uh, low latency formats, you know, CMAT low latency uh, that are coming down the pipe. So we're, we're ready um, from an ingest perspective, at least uh, for, for those new low latency formats. Yeah, really interesting stuff, exciting stuff to hear about, certainly. Uh, before we let you go, I'm kind of curious from your perspective, uh, how has the trends landscape uh, changed at all? I mean, I, anecdotally, it certainly seems like more people are streaming more than they ever have before because many people are home. Um, in regards to speaking with your clients, uh, is something standing out to you right now? Is it, uh, you know, cloud adoption already seemed to be skyrocketing and maybe this has just accelerated that even further uh, I don't know have you seen a trend evolve in a unique way over the past four or five weeks or so well I mean it goes without saying we're all missing you know the the sports the live sports um, 
so you know there there's clearly a void mm -hmm. uh has created uh over the last few weeks with that um but there's there's just a you know a huge um uh, adoption of uh, the direct to consumer uh video products uh, from from the well known names like you know uh like disney and and mm -hmm. um uh, and others so you know i think it's sort of a it, it's really a uh, there, there are some, you know, th there are some winners uh, and some losers in the market, and I think, you know, we're we're in a fortunate, very fortunate position uh, that we've seen, you know, our traffic uh, overall traffic levels uh, increase significantly as a result of people staying at home and watching uh, more over the top uh, video content. Um, but we're, we're, you know, we're really looking forward to, uh, to getting back and and supporting live events, whether they're sports or or, or, or you know any other form of uh, of live streaming, and um, you know I'm hoping that uh, you know with with the new announcements we'll we'll be ready for that when things come come back on tap. Hopefully in uh, in a, in a few weeks' time. Yeah. All right, Neil. Well, we certainly do miss live sports, but we also here at SVG appreciate all of the work that you and your team are doing to help keep the uh, video production and distribution industry uh, afloat during these very trying times. So uh, thank you for that, and thank you for the time today. Thanks a lot, Brandon. All right, he is Neil Glazebrook. He is Senior Director of Product Management for Limelight Networks. You can find more from the SVG Sports Tech On Demand series right now over at sportsvideo.org.